All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So what we're going to do this week is slow down for a second and just revisit factoring. Um, factoring is one of the most important topics that we talk about, and it's really vital to um, our math education, especially for those of us that are moving on to Algebra 2 next year. Um, we want to make sure that we have the skills needed to uh, be able to factor so that in Algebra 2, when we take it to the next level, um, we're ready for that. So today we're just going to do a basic review of factoring, and we're going to start with factoring trinomials, um, factoring trinomials specifically where a is equal to 1. So if you recall, a trinomial is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So we've been solving these uh, quadratics, right? Quadratic meaning highest power is 2. We've been solving these using the quadratic formula. And what the quadratic formula does is the quadratic formula solves. Okay, and when you solve, you get x equals an answer. And that's great. But we want to factor, and when we factor, we specifically want to get something that looks like this, x minus a, maybe x plus b, right? We want to get two factors, okay, two terms that when multiplied together will give us our initial. Now, we said that a is going to be equal to 1, meaning that we're going to look at factoring things like x squared plus 6x plus 9, and if you remember, we had a very specific way to do this using the calculator. So I'm going to show you how using the graphing calculator, specifically the uh, Calculate 84 app, which is free for download. Okay, remember if you have an Android device, um, you can download the actual TI-84 calculator for free. If you have an Apple device, you can download Calculate 84 for free, and that will give you um, the exact same functions that we need. So if you remember, we go to y equals, and I have some stuff in there. We want to clear that out. And what we do is we look at that c term. So for us, that c term, okay, that last term here is a 9. And so we're going to be doing 9 divided by x. And then in y2, we're going to be doing 9 divided by x plus x. And then we don't care about the graph, we're looking at second table. And remember, we're looking for the middle number now to be 6. So we need to find where the middle number is 6. And we'll see here that the middle number is 6 in the third column when we have 3 and 3. That means that when we factor, we get x plus 3, x plus 3, and that's how we leave it. That is the factored answer. If they were asking us to solve, we would set it equal to 0, and we would set, solve each answer so that we get x equals negative 3, x equals negative 3. But they're only asking us to factor here. And just to finish this short video up, let's take a look at what a delta math problem might look like. So x squared plus 9x plus 14. Okay, so x squared plus 9x plus 14. Okay, so we're going to go to y equals in our calculator. We're going to clear out what we had, and we're going to use 14 divided by x. 14 divided by x, and then we're going to do 14 divided by x plus x. Okay, so we're going to go to our table, second graph, and we're looking for where the third column is a 9. So we started with a 14, looking for where the third column is a positive 9, and it's right here, 2 and 7. So this is going to factor to x plus 2, x plus 7. Okay, so let's go back to delta math and let's see how we can input this answer. So we need to use parentheses, okay, we want to use our x, so x plus 2, close parenthesis, and then x plus 7. Don't forget to close your parentheses. We're going to submit our answer. We get the green check. Now, they use what's called the X game here. And we've talked about this before in class. But basically what happens here is you're looking for ways to multiply to 14, add to 9. And that would be the number 2 and the number 7. Now, remember, we do all of this work here that they're showing you 
with the calculator. Okay, we use y equals in the calculator, so that's what you're going to want to do. All right, so again, it is a review topic, but I just wanted to show you how to remind you uh, factoring trinomials where a equals 1. I'm going to ask you to do eight problems this week on Delta Math, and then on Wednesday we'll look for the next assignment. All right.